watching Into Wine TV and we're at Encanto Restaurant in San Francisco and we're tasting Piedmont Reds. And today we'll be trying the Concha Tre Pile. It's a Barbera Aldo Canterno and uh, retails for $45. Yeah, you know, this is, uh, most everything Aldo Canterno does is, is pretty, pretty serious. And I think the one, the one interesting point about this wine that lends it some cachet, of course, is that it's situated right next to a Barolo vineyard of uh, Buccia Soprano. That's some very high-end real estate uh, to be growing Barbera from Alba at. Having said that, the wine is, is executed very well. It's got the, the signature uh, Piemontese minerality that you would expect. Uh, it's, you know, by nature, Barbera is very high acid. So the, the fruit, it's important, the fruit component's important to balance that acid out. And everything really seems in balance here. It's, it's just a well-made wine. You know, $45 retail for a bottle of Barbera, that really takes, takes some thought uh, if you're going to be investing that type of money in Barbera. And I don't know if it delivers, you know, it's subjective. I don't know if it delivers $45 worth per bottle, uh, but it's probably one of the better made Barberas from Oliva on the market right now, I would, I would probably have to say. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the, the you know, you just mentioned the justifications for the price. I mean, the, the proximity of the vineyard to the, um, the Barolo vineyard. Uh, so this is kind of a wine for people who, who know, I think, because like you said, $45 for, um, you, can, you can find some good quality Barberas for $20, $25 easily. But this is, in my opinion, this is a serious wine. I mean, the, aromatically, it definitely reminds me of, of some of the, the you know, Barolos that I've had. I mean, it, it's not Barolo in, in style because it has a little more softness and, and, and plumminess. Uh, but nevertheless, I mean, this is a, a really well composed, uh, put together um, Barbera for, and like I said, for, for those who know where it comes from, and Aldo Conterno, definitely one of the strongest producers in the, in the area. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm strongly recommending the wine. I mean, this is a delicious. Yeah, if, if you think of in terms of, um, not in terms of Barbera Dalbas, but in terms of wine, wine in general, um, if you Very were to point. Yeah. have this in a blind tasting with a bunch of other wines from um, Napa or you know really ex expensive wines from Italy, I think forty-five dollars is actually a fairly reasonable price for this quality wine. It's a really high quality wine. The problem is that in this economy, anything over twenty-five dollars is a tough sell. Um, anything over thirty dollars is a very hard sell. Forty dollars is you know, things. That, but I think you know. From historical price points, this is not an unreasonable um, wine because the quality is quality really, is really great. good. Yeah. It's really fantastic. And another thing is that you, because Aldo Conterno is, is known, and correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, um, Edward, because Aldo Conterno is known for more traditional, more rustic uh, style generally for his Barolos. I, I find I find his Barolo to be fairly restrained. Yeah, so, and this uh, wine and this wine definitely offers more modern style. I mean, it's definitely. I don't know whether it's the fact that it's it's, it's Barbera. Uh, but it definitely is a kind of very generous, very, you know, aromatic, yeah, a lot of, you know, uh, rose petal, those kind of classic uh, Barolo, Piedmontese, Nebbiolo um, uh, flavors, um, a little bit of, you know, tar and, and, and cherry plum. I mean, yeah, very, good, yeah. good point. It's, it's, it's a great mix of modern and traditionalism, I think, you know, without being too modern. You know, there's people who, who make the mistake, I think, of equating uh, price or cost to quality. And this is one wine where I think those those people will probably be rewarded. I agree, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would love to sit down in a restaurant and have this wine. Um, whether I would pay restaurant price is, is you know, I'm missing out sure. by not, I'm miss, missing out probably by not wanting to pay this price because of quality. Well, there are Barolos and Barbarescas for that price yeah. on the market. So Absolutely. The, for those who, who pay attention to, to denominations or, and, and the origins and the classification, people would probably, you know, skip this wine and move on yeah. to a, a Barbaresco yeah. from another producer, you, a Barolo from another I, producer. I, I, but uh, quality-wise, I, I think that this, you know, this, this Barbera beats some of the Barbarescos and, and Barolos. Yeah. Yeah, I'd um, say in a, in a restaurant setting, I would imagine this, this wine would be priced anywhere from 60 to $70, I would, I would guess. And that's, that's a lot of money to pay for Barbera from Alba. Uh, but there are, you know, Conterno's not the only one. There are other 
producers, La Spinetta comes to mind, Vietti comes to mind, oh. uh, that their, their top barberas are going to set you back about that much Cereto. in the restaurant setting. So this is right, uh, this is, in, in that sense, this is value. Yeah, and this is the second wine we've had in our series of tastings from the sorting table, and um, it shows that they're a quality importer, I think, it's so far, so good. So recession aside, if you don't mind paying $45 a bottle, this sounds like a great option. Uh, the Concha Tripule, great reviews for the Barbera. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Into Wine TV.